Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this effect that you're seeing on the screen now. Right, so to begin with, we're always going to need a clip and you need to import that into After Effects. Uh, as you can see, I've already done that and we're going to have to cut the clip to get a section that you want to apply the effect to. So I've done that here. To cut the clip, just press Ctrl, Shift and D on the keyboard and it will create a cut like this. Then what we need to do is duplicate this section that you uh, cut. This is the clip that we're going to be applying it to. So what we need to do now is just solo that clip so we can only see this one. Then add tints. We'll make the clip black and white. Then add glow. And what we need to do is set the glow colors to A and B colors. Set the color A to uh, whatever you like really. I'm going to do a light blue. And then what we need to do is set the glow radius, bring that down to all the way to a zero, increase the intensity to around 1.4, 1.5, depends on how you want it to look. And if we move the glow threshold uh, around like that, you can sort of see the effect already. And we'll obviously be keyframing that uh, later on. Once you have that done, add levels. And what we need to do is bring over the left arrow Bring that over to the right, and so what we want to do is try and make everything as dark as possible. That isn't the uh, sort of blue glow or whatever color you have, and obviously move the right arrow as well. So try and get it as close as you can. Like that is probably fine. Next, add color range, and again, like before, we can try and remove the colors that stand out. So this white section here, just remove that. And uh, I think that's probably decent. Alright, and once you're done with that, so you can unsolo this clip. Set the mode to screen, just like that. And then we can go ahead and start keyframing it. So, go over to the glow. Uh, I'm just going to bring this back up to 100. Click on the stopwatch next to glow threshold. You can press U on the clip to see the keyframe. Go to the end of your clip to set it to whatever you want, and then just increase the glow threshold or decrease it because you need to set it to zero. So, if we scroll through, you can sort of see the scanning effect happening. Obviously, we're going to have to adjust uh, when it appears, and that's probably decent enough. Obviously, you can see the keyframes, you can go ahead and highlight them, press F9, and you can change the graph of them if you would like to do that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the effect and, uh, the rest we can do to just make it a little nicer to look at. So we can add turbulent displace just to make it a bit wavy so like that. And, uh, you can mess around the settings to however you want. So increase the complexity as well as the amount. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then you probably want to keyframe the evolution. So it's like, again, like before, go ahead and press the stopwatch next to evolution. You can go ahead and see the keyframes and obviously increase it to the liking like that. And again, like before, you can easily use them. You can also add something like the below just to make it a bit brighter. If you like to, probably a bit too bright for me. So. Alright, and then obviously you can go ahead and adjust all the settings to get it to your liking and some impact or whatever. Uh, it's really up to you. Right, so that's pretty much it. Um, all I've done is add magic bullet looks for the CC and then RSMB. Uh, brightness and contrast, minimax for some impact. And then uh, just the de-keyframing for the uh, stuff like the, uh, the glow threshold. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.